YouTube. Today we're going to talk a little bit about um, the different type of cordage you should have in your bug out bag. Cordage is just a fancy pantsy word for string and rope and stuff like that. So we're going to just go down the line talk about all the different types of cordage and what's going to work best for what you need it for. So get out your pen and paper and take notes and let's begin. Your first kind of rope um, that we're going to talk about is just basic nylon utility rope. Um, this is primarily just for your bug out vehicle, um, just tying down loads and stuff like that. You don't really necessarily need something like this in your bug out bag. So let's move along. Uh, your second type of rope would your second type of rope would be climbing rope. Um, this stuff's heavy duty. It's rated at 800 pounds brake strength. Um, I mean, this would this wouldn't be for little small jobs, and you wouldn't want to use it for something that you would just use utility rope for. But this would be like for, let's say, dragging a deer carcass through the woods, or climbing a tree, or um, anything like that. Heavy duty work that you need to support a lot of weight. Climbing rope. The only downside is this thing is kind of heavy but it's for heavy duty work. So you might not necessarily need this in your bug out bag, but it's just one of the different ropes we're gonna talk about. Um, let's see here. Next, we're gonna talk about paracord. And um, paracord is weird stuff. I don't really understand it. <sighs> stuff off me. Um, I, like, I see a lot. I see this in a lot of people's videos. This is the Walmart one. Um, nowhere on it does it say 550, and I think it's just for crafts. Um, this one I got at Hobby Lobby today, 2.99. It says 550 on it. Um, I still don't know if it's actual 550 cord or not. I mean, it does say 550. Um, the minimum breaking strength of this stuff is 550 pounds, so that's where the name 550 cord comes from. This, I don't know, I think it's just for crafts, so put that aside. Um, the reason I don't like paracord is because it's expensive and it's too medium duty. You know, it's not super heavy duty rope, and it's also not light duty. So it's kind of like, I don't know, there's stuff above it, like climbing rope, and then there's stuff under it that you can use which I'm going to show you next. So this stuff is kind of just a gimmick I think and I wouldn't get too involved with this stuff. Just save your money and buy something cheaper. You don't need this. Um, let's see what do we got next. Um, this stuff is called craft cord. No not this one. This one. This is basically paracord but it's not meant to support any weight whatsoever. Um, it's nylon, so you're not going to be able to use it for tinder. It's the stuff that melts when you hold a lighter to it. Um, this would be a good alternative to paracord, in my opinion, because it's cheaper. Um, it was a dollar more for this roll, and you get 90 meters versus 8 meters. Um, that's almost 11 times more than you get for that little bundle of paracord. And it's just general all-purpose cordage, you know. You can tie pretty decent knots with it. Um, you can use it to secure stuff to your bag. Um, shoelaces if you had to I mean this stuff this stuff would be good for all kinds of uses and it's cheap and you get a whole lot of it in this roll so set the paracord aside get rid of that stuff pick some of this up um, craft no this is not craft cord Jeez, why do I keep grabbing this twine twine is my favorite stuff I love twine holy cow this is getting ridiculous Twine is great because you can use it as tinder. It's just really dry, like, I don't even know what it's made of, but you can use this stuff as tinder or basic general tying needs, you know? Securing stuff, building a makeshift shelter, putting up your tarp at night, and you get a ton of it on this little roll, a ton of twine on this roll. And it's cheap, and it's just great all-purpose rope. But it's not good for tying knots because it's all frayed like that it kind of catches on itself so if you're trying to tie complex knots skip this stuff and go with the um the craft cord or paracord or something that you can tie better knots with but yeah the twine is just really good 
all around cheap cordage that this is my favorite I keep this in my bug out bag it's got a million uses this is what I always go with twine and you're not scared to use it um, take a take a look at my friend talking about paracord for a second and you'll see what I mean by being scared to use your equipment you know, a little bit of twine, a little bit of, you know, different things just for the little ties so you don't waste your paracord, you know, tying something that you can use uh, the paracord something better for. Yeah. You know what I mean? So this stuff is cheap. You get a ton of it and you're not going to be scared. Oh my God, this is crazy. You're not going to be scared to use this stuff. Um, a different alternative to twine would be this nylon thread. Um, you get a ton of it. Um, I think it was 349 for 300 yards. It's really thin. It's kind of like almost, yeah, I mean, it's thread. You could use it for sewing or whatever, um, tying different little lightweight stuff. You're not going to be able to support any weight with this stuff. Same with twine. Twine's breaking point is like really lightweight. You try to tie anything heavy with this twine and, and it's just going to snap. Sorry, guys, this is ridiculous. Um, the last thing on my list which I consider cordage, um, duct tape. I got the camouflage one because it's like super cool, you know, it's really, it's really neat. You never know, you could, you could disguise some stuff with this or whatever. But duct tape is just general purpose, you know, everybody knows what duct tape's for, a thousand uses. Um, another thing that's actually MIA right now is my Gorilla Tape. I can't find it. Uh, my wife probably put it in her craft bin, never to be seen again or something, I don't know. But Gorilla Tape is like twice the strength of duct tape. I don't know really what the difference is, but Gorilla Tape's a lot better. So if you got the extra money, go with the Gorilla Tape. If not, just get yourself a roll of duct tape. You never know what you're going to need it for. A um, thousand uses for this stuff. And then the last thing on my list is fishing line. Um... I mean, everybody knows what fishing line is for. You can stitch up wounds with it. You can set trip wires um, and duh, fishing. So fishing line is always good to have in your bug out bag. Maybe not the giant roll like this, but they sell the small ones. So get yourself some fishing line. And this is one that I highly recommend to have in your bag at all times. Now, uh, as you know, this isn't like the, uh, holy cow. This isn't like you need every kind of these strings in your bag. Get off me. I'm making a mess here, guys. You don't need all these strings in your bag. Just pick one or two that you might need for different jobs that you see yourself doing. And as with any equipment, try it out, test it out, see what works for you, and get rid of the rest. And I'm going to tell you now, just mark paracord off your list. You don't need it. It's, it's just weird stuff that you don't need to mess around with. So, yeah, that's really all I have to say about cordage. Survival for the poor.